real man uses a cell phone. He uses two. That's where electricity comes from. <laughs> you turn on your George Foreman, go dry your hair, walk back from those little antennas. There we go, now we're recording. We need to use your phone. Repeat. We need to use your phone. Repeat. My phone doesn't work. Well, get directions with your phone. It doesn't work. Why don't My you? phone's too crappy. <laughs> well, it doesn't work. I was doing it with mom and all Can of a sudden- you make calls? We were like halfway there and it just froze and I couldn't get the directions to work. Uh, it would take, what, all of your allowance? For a year and a year and a half. I'm trying to go left. Here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> De Los Santos. <laughs> Arizona, world's best Mexican food. Ever. Boom. Better than Mexico. Look at ass over there. <laughs> What's that ass for? Santa Monica. Arizona. <laughs> I could get into doing this. I just feel like I'm intruding on people when I like film them. No, don't worry about it. That's what I've learned. You just can't care. It's like Snapchat stuff. You can't care. Also, when I'm stopping attention, I tend to drift down like that. I don't know. <laughs> Around. You know, you could start doing this every day and you could call it like, I don't know, Daily Dan or something. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I know. Did you find it? Oh, yeah. You your did? Snapchat is, your Beam and your Snapchat are both Daily Dan. <laughs> It wasn't hard at Did that you point. Find my channel though? Yeah, you've got cool videos. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah, they are. It's better than I thought they'd be. Nice. I'm re-recording. Re-recording re you. <laughs> re-recording. Go ahead, Dan. I'm always trying to figure You take it now. Oh, uh, three, actually. Got three? Yeah. Downtown Phoenix. I'm actually about to pass a really cool building for you guys, you movie people. You guys see that tower? You can name that tower what movie that's from. Let me know, because I know what movie it's from. I'll give you a hint. Uh, the main character, main actor, was played by a guy in Wedding Crashers. And they fly through it and they actually show this building. Cool little Phoenix tip there. Oh, look at this, this is cool too. This is like my favorite part of town. It's like the best drive in Arizona, at least in Phoenix. You get to cruise through downtown, there's a lot more culture and liveliness, you know? It's it's a much more live town than it used to be. They've really cleaned it up. I added the tram, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to get my dog registered or licensed, I guess is what it's called now. I guess you have to license your dog. You're gonna call me dumb. I didn't know about that. Make sure this thing's still recording. It is. So I started this notebook thing last week and it ended up being really cool. It like pointed out some key things in my life that I decided I'm gonna work on. First thing is I need to do more. Like I'm really busy. I, I work and I go to school full time. I still have time that I could be doing cool stuff. So A, I picked up vlogging. That's one reason I started vlogging. I uh, thought it'd be a good use of my time. I'm also, I'm teaching myself to ride skateboards or like a penny board, it's something I've never done. This notebook thing made me realize that I wanna like do something every day that I, you know, help someone. So I started packing that extra lunch and you know, I live, or I work downtown. So I, I encounter a lot of people in need a lot of homeless people so I, I try to give away my that extra lunch every day and and help someone out that you know might be hungry or thirsty because I usually have a couple water bottles in there but I suggest trying this notebook thing because it'll point some things out to you that maybe you didn't recognize previously like there wasn't a lot that I was disappointed in 
that I did or didn't do. Well, the only things I was disappointed in is that the positive things that I were doing weren't that cool, you know? I wasn't that excited about it. And I decided I'm going to change it. Anyway, this has been a fun project. I hope uh, and look forward to seeing you guys again. By the way, don't forget to let me know what, what movie that tower's from. Alright, take it easy. Thank you.